Good morning, fellas. Here we are with a steam rail. Lucky Amber Amber Ale. <clears throat> Not sure if I've done this one before. I know I've tried a couple of their beers. They've got a, a couple out there, two or three, I think. So let's have a look at this nice colour. Like a decent head. Bit small in the bottle, anyway. It's like all the rest, they're getting smaller. 330 mils, eh? The 375s. Anyway, cheers, fellas. Try this one. It's not too bad. It's got a nice little hoppy sort of hit. Not too strong for an amber ale. It's pretty much right on the dot for the flavours. Not so strong though, pretty weak, four and a half percent I think. Yeah, so not a heavy one, but it's all right. So just trying to plan the trip to Thailand, I'll leave in June sometime. Probably Chiang Mai first for ten days, and then then a co uh, co Samet for Simsy's fiftieth. That'll be good. All right, fellas, we just had a quiet uh, anniversary day today. We went and had. Um, some Italian lunch, didn't film it, couldn't be bothered, just enjoyed it, it was really nice, risotto, a bit of pizza, some veal, and some white bait, which was delicious, so it was a big meal, and then a hot chocolate afterwards, or one of those real thick ones, like in Italy, oh, it was deluxe, from Coco Black on Ligon Street, and that was good, and this beer's okay, I'm not going to ride home about it, but um, yeah, better than a Vic Bitter I guess so and some of those beers aren't as you know they're supposed to be really good and they're just sort of okay like the head's gone on that now I'm not real happy about that but anyway it's okay cheers fellas hopefully I'll bring a better one up next time